so we know that you guys when you are normally yourself and you know knee injuries or whatever yeah. you've got your training whatever yeah. so he's got his training bag he's got his gym bag <laughs> so we would love to know what is in gym bag let's see what's in my gym. training stuff my tools for for war hey, wanna, guys you, you could you saw this what time and here is one, number five Kami yeah. said, Kami said i asked him if if like i would also like get a bag what number should i get he said number 12. <laughs> Why because, number 12? Because I pay from the outside. <laughs> <laughs> what number do you think I in? Okay, you. Uh, what number looks nice? Look nice. On you. Mm. I feel like uh, nine. I'll give you Kemit Kemit Sport. Kemit Erasmus Sport. Nine is good. <laughs> okay, I, I, I love that. Love you inside that. that field. You inside that. that field on my team. <laughs> <laughs> so here is this um, training bag. Um, all of you guys have got these bags. I've said, Nandi, must be very nice. Yeah, nice. Come on. <laughs> must be nice. <laughs> so, this is the stuff that you carry to training every day, right? Yeah, so okay. this uh, I wear before my, my t shirts. So, this one he wears yeah, underneath. What, what do you call this? Uh, we call it a second skin, right? Second it's skin. A second skin, yeah. I think it, that's what it's called. What, what does it do? Uh, me personally, I use it. I use it uh, uh, because, like most of the times in winter, there's long ones that you can use. Yes, the one but, with the long sleeves. Yeah, with long okay. sleeves. But I'm already used to it because I, I sweat you know, it makes a you lot. Sweat. Yeah, okay. it makes you sweat a lot, and automatically it burns like the oh. unnecessary fat. Like for me, that's Does that's it? why I use it. Yeah. Yeah, I should because burn. Because it, it's tight. It gets tight like mm. on your body. So when you sweat. You sweat okay. a lot. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I use it. And then here's my training t-shirt. We have blue and, and white. When do you wear the white? Like one day blue, one day white. white. So oh. it's not like a thing of away and home. No 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 no. It depends on the day where like that's my raining jacket. When it's raining, when it rains, yeah, it's and when it's a it's a bit said like, pop smoke. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. Yeah, that's my rainy jacket. But why so. would you want to wear this even if it's raining? Winter is coming, so, so? Me, usually I don't I don't like wearing like uh, jackets even when it's winter. Yeah. But there's those days that you can't you can't you know sometimes you leave your place without showering so it's. <laughs> hey, men's underwear. I'm holding men's underwear right. No, that's that's to all the anaconda, my tights. <laughs> Those are my tights, yeah, but tights. you know, you know why, why, what tights, why we we really wear tights? Why? Because when you slide, sometimes, like I used to play in artificial grass in, in Mozambique. Okay. So the tights actually protect your body from scratches. The grass sometimes oh. you you scratch those sides when you oh. when you slide. Oh, that's the so, reason why you yeah, guys wear the tights. That's the reason we wear tights okay. to protect the the muscles. Uh, oh. <laughs> And then you have these socks. Yeah, those are my blue socks. The training socks. Yeah, those are my training socks. But we can also I can also use it in, in games because we use like I was about games. to ask or like game socks also like I have white, I have white, I have blue. Those are like uh, match match things, but also I have black for training. But I can't I can't like take all my training stuff. Yeah. Obviously. You could off if you wanted. Yeah. What size is this? That's nine UK. Yeah. So it's a size of a man actually. I can't be wearing like size, sizes like Tabo. This is a woman <laughs> size, you know. Size. What size? Does I feel like Tab Tabo is size six. That's like a uh, woman what size. size six? Yeah. You see that small foot. Mm. I mean the nigga is short, but <laughs> at least wear eight. <laughs> Can you wear eight? In your <laughs> <laughs> They're so light. Are these like your only your, like your training? Yeah, I have. Yeah, no, no, no. I have when when I go to game days. Those are my training ones. When I go to match days, I use the the six stars one, the iron stars. Are they are they yeah, also light yeah. as this? Or quite off, quite off. But because of the the the, the iron oh, stars, they a bit heavier. Oh, okay. But not heavier that you can't like. You can't run. Yeah, yeah. So because the fields so usually have. are wet and stuff like that. What else do you have? 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't bring my shin pads because I don't wear shin pads. Shin pads. When I train, I only wear it in like match days, you know. Okay. I think it's quite unnecessary for us to ask him to show us his toiletry bag. Because my toiletry bag. Is it packed? It's, it's unpacked. Yeah, no, it's packed. Is when, it when packed? You're gonna, my, but now because of, of COVID, we, we're not showering. No. Obviously. Yeah, so but like on, I, I, there's... there's it's really not necessary for me to like under, take a toilet trip back under normal circumstances okay you, you did shower right yeah of course yeah so you guys want to know where what is my on my what's toilet in trip his toilet bag? bag we want to know we want to see what's in your toilet trip bag <laughs> so my oh. must i find my toilet trip bag yes please <laughs> <laughs> it's cool I feel like you already started opening my bag so you can you can i might just yeah. ca carry on all yeah. on yeah, I love doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I really love doing this. So, okay. Yeah. This is his toiletry bag. Oh, fancy. The detail. The skirt. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you've got in here. Yeah. I don't know what you have. I but feel like all the necessary stuff that I need. Like on Tammy day had day. a snake in his. I nah. don't know about you. He had a snake? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy has got a snake. <laughs> Yeah. So what he has is hey fancy. Yeah, for my because I have a sensitive skin, so I can't really burn. Yeah, a lot so you need to protect your skin. Yeah, some, uh, some screen. Yeah. And then my lotion. Wait, does Nivea sponsor you? No. Yeah, they should sponsor you. Huh? <laughs> Nivea, <laughs> contact this guy. <laughs> contact him. Hey, bo. Nivea. This is your guy. Nah, they have to. They have to. Please. I right. hope they see this video though. No, oh, no, 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 no. Please contact him. No, I mean, come on. This is <laughs> Nivea as well. What's this? Okay, That's a shower gel. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. my, my shower gel. Yeah, it smells nice. Yeah, but that's only for, for training because. And it also has got your eye, Nivea. His Nivea roll on here. Uh, and oh, what's this? I don't know. That's Vit Hermo. <laughs> Hermo. Yeah, you're gonna be clean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use this one on your beard? Okay. Oh okay. God, not in my face. Not in my face because that burns, so I can't do face. I can't okay. go on my face. I see you. And then, oh, there's a cologne. Yeah. How do you open this thing? You just push it. You push it? Yeah, just. When it's spray, I push it. Wait, wait. No, I just... Oh. Mmm. Mmm. When I when I walk, all all the ladies be asking me for hugs. I have no idea when I when yeah. I help them. Guys, you know this guy is engaged, yeah? Yeah, hey, yeah, I am. Yeah, he's I, engaged. I, I, yeah, yeah, he's engaged. My vintage ring. Yeah. yeah. So he he's just you know he puts this on. He said, "Let me correct it." He puts this on like, when he's got he knows he's gonna meet people and he wants to smile good. So not necessarily for the ladies. Nah, I feel like they know because they're, they're he all captured all, Haiti. It's, it's there on my on my Instagram. My and, Instagram and is, she's beautiful, yeah. Thank you very she's much. Beautiful. Thank you. Where I feel she like now? she's more beautiful from inside. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You should wait in Mozambique. Yeah, she's in Mozambique currently. No, she's a beautiful woman. So uh, yeah. Cut yourself. You also pretty though. Me. When, when are you getting married? Like, right? I don't know. Dear, what, is your brother married? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I need to hook you up. I love you. Hi, brother. <laughs> is, is your brother married? <laughs> nah, it's not. Nah, it's not. Mm, it's not. <laughs> no, like no, you can just like. How old is he though? How old? Uh, which brother? Because I have two older brothers and I have one. I have two younger than me. I want the the, the, I want older, the older ones. Okay, one is thirty. Is here. Another one is 35. No, 34. Another one is 34. Mm, I like the 34 yeah. one. Hey! Hey, 34, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, brother. Yeah. I'm serious. Nah, nah, nah. This is his toiletry bag. This is what he uses, the stuff that he uses to freshen up. 
and to smell nice. Yeah. Um, after yeah, training, too. what do you eat in a day? Like, what's what what keeps you? Because obviously, when you work out and you are, yeah. you need to eat well as well. So, what do you have Ish. for breakfast? I feel I, I feel like when I was with Tavo here, yeah, because there's there was a time that Tavo and and I used to like live together, like mm. during lockdown. I remember that time. Yeah. Mm. Tavo is a beast when it comes to planning sessions and stuff like that. I feel like they, they have, yeah, he needs to be a coach when he retires. Yes. He understands. <laughs> oh, a personal trainer. I don't know what he's, he's going to choose. but yeah. Something along those lines. So in the morning, Tavo used to make like uh, sometimes nice eggs with tuna and mm -hmm. avocado. And sometimes, but when he's alone, when he's alone, it's <laughs> oats, oats every day. <laughs> But my myself personally, mm. if I had to go for like an easy breakfast, because yeah. I, I don't really have a lot of appetite in the morning okay. when I woke up. So I usually go for like coffee, but because I know that my body needs to have something, to have something before I train, mm. I have always fruits, banana, pineapple. I think that's for me like... To start the day. Yeah, and a bit of like yogurt with, with cereals. Mm. I, will, I will do that. But if I feel like eating something more with proteins, I'll go for like eggs, mm -hmm. you know, in the morning with a toast. And yeah, my day is going. I don't really like cornflakes though. Cornflakes, okay. I will do oats because it gives a lot of energy. energy yeah, but. And for lunch? For lunch, it depends though. Do you it cook? Depends. Yeah, I can cook. I can make some Mozambican meals, but I can cook for myself. I can't cook for people, you know, because you, you never know how people how people react to your to your food. Mm, but true. yeah, now I probably like during now my injury, I wasn't like feeding myself properly because uh -huh. yeah, I never really gave myself time to to eat. I was always lying, lying here on, mm. on this couch. But I'll go for chicken. You know, with like uh, a bit of broccoli, carrots, corn, and rice. I feel like I like rice. So but there's days also yeah. that after training, I, I feel like having a bit of pop, you know, of pop because I love pop. Can you make I love it? Pop. Yeah, I can. Okay. I can make pop. I can make pop. But most of the time, we had like. Um, this performance kitchen that used to like bring us like oh yes i think meals. that's the one is that the one that Utami also used yeah yeah yeah. Okay. yeah so we used to go for that one you know mm. weekly meals there's a hell lot of options there that mm. uh, like you know and the stuff that i don't even know the names so but it tastes good <clears throat> and you know what healthy stuff most of the time doesn't taste good like most of the time healthy stuff doesn't okay. taste good okay. but you know that you need it your body yeah. needs it to like create perfect especially yes, like yes. after games your body mm. needs to recover properly so you need to eat healthy stuff but most of the times we go for nando's guys which is <laughs> sometimes you don't have energy to cook it just so, uber eats mr d please do the job for us yeah but the there's, there's something that i like at nando's though which is a bougie ball it's like Oh, kind of yeah, healthy. I was so tired yeah. getting that another day. Yeah, yeah. I, I introduced him to that. He yeah. didn't know about that. Oh, you know introduced him so to I that. I told him, my boy, you know what? For those girls to come there on the field, you need to have a bougie <laughs> ball. Some bougie ball to, 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 to sprinkle some bougie Yeah. Here. So I, I actually don't have like a specific meal. Strict diet me. yeah. or. Because okay. no, no, no. my body doesn't. I don't get fat, guys. Yo, I train a lot. Must be so nice, yeah. Yeah, I train must a be lot. So nice. I, I'm at the gym a lot, so my body's already used. Even now that I've been like five months without really doing much, yeah, my body has never like showed a lot of change besides losing my muscles and stuff like that because I'm not training only on my legs. Mm. The six pack is still there. I'm still okay. <laughs> I'm, still okay. Still, I'm so good. Yeah, I'm still I'm good. So good this side. I'm still good. <laughs> I'm still good. Now, let's say you did not come to to SA and play football, or you did not play football at all. Yeah. Um. What would you be doing now? What career would you have followed? Would you have followed the lawyer route, or there's something else that you had interest in? Uh, I feel like that's kind of diff difficult question to answer though, because if I didn't play football, probably I'll be something else. I'll be sitting behind a computer now doing something. What which, would you be doing? Uh, probably I would have gone for 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 a lawyer, you know, because okay. that's what okay. my parents wanted at that time. But if I had if I had to choose like 
based on where I am now. Mm. If I have, if I had to stop like playing football now, which I don't think it's gonna happen anytime it's not soon. Gonna happen. I probably will go for like creating a clothing line. You know, like I will be like into fashion because. Ooh. I love clothes. Yeah, you're a fashionista as yeah, I well. Love, I mean, I his Insta have you seen his Instagram? I love clothes, so yeah, I will go for that. Mm. You know, I'll dedicate myself to that. Into clothing, into yeah, because a lot of a lot of people like have asked me for my jackets. Even my cousins, every time I go home, I mm. come back without clothes. So I feel like people relate. Uh, they relate themselves a little bit with what I wear yeah. on my daily basis. You know, so I think I will try and offer a bit of my fashion side to people plus i had someone here that like probably played a big role mm. when it comes to that which is take home dc oh you know? okay, yeah okay. we used, oh, to, like, the dawn. We used okay. to hang out a lot and yeah it's the guy that he knows what he addresses he knows yeah, what he, he wears you does. know so had someone that played a, a bit uh, kind of like influenced your, your yeah clothes, my your my yeah clothes. my way of looking mm. at clothes and stuff like that. I wasn't a colorful guy though, but I started looking at colors like yeah. differently. I don't know as well. I mean, I saw a transition. I was like, hey, this guy now Instagram's like, hey, he used to fashion. I'm like, what? I just stopped playing football. Nah, it's Tego Mudis's fault. It's Tego Mudis's fault. But now since you mentioned it, I can see that element of him. Yeah. Like I can I can really now like see it now nah. nah, nah, that's man, a great influence though yeah the man the man does change something where it was you played along, alongside yeah. him how was that playing alongside it was Jets? great you know you know what when when i was in mozambique uh i used to like have i, I used to to have certain players that uh i always looked up to you know mm. first is, is Pelembe like uh, one of my national team captains yeah second is Chawalala third is uh, Renewal Lentulenyani mm. Tekom Dise and when I came to South Africa uh, you know there's a lot of players that I like Lodge Percy Tao you know players that yeah I faced and I feel like they, they're very good players but Teko is different though because I had the opportunity, you know, to live with him and to be with him on yeah. a daily basis. You know, we used to go for lunches together, you know, we used to sit and like hear like a bit of, of his career, his like personal life, his <laughs> stories and stuff like that. So for me, he was like a, a brother more than a, a teammate, you know. Yeah. And even yeah. now we still have like a great relationship. Even though he's like in Joburg doing his own yeah, things. Yeah, um, when he's in Cape Town, um, yeah, please, yeah. please tell him to, to, to come to the end. Play a zone. They don't! <laughs> when, when he's in Cape Town, play a zone. Nah, he will. He will come. He will come. He has to. You know what? When you, you come to Cape Town, you need to hit the lady General up. General you know? sir! I feel like he has more to tell. You know, he does. More than anyone else. You know, I, I, you know? I read his book. I have his book. I got his book as soon as it came out. You know what? There's a friend of mine that stole that book. You know, I oh. read that book and I didn't finish the book, but just uh, 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 the the pages that I read. I'm so you know afraid what? of borrowing you this book. Someone is still taking. What if I borrow you the book and then someone else steals it? No, 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 no. No one will steal it. No one will steal it. I feel like I need. To, I need. I don't want to borrow. It. I need to buy it again. I, I finished that book like in four days. That's super. It's it's very great. I could not know? put it down, and I just needed more. I wanted more. Did you drop some tears? I did. Here and there, I was like, oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> nah, it's, it's a, a great very, book. It's a very great book. It's a great it's book. A book. And we're like, waiting for yeah, the one. second one. Another if, one. If you Your. can bless us with the second one, you know. Yeah, it's general. Very, we're asking for a second book, please. Yeah, I feel like the new generation needs to read it. And, and you know, because most of the people, when they see you uh, at a certain point of your life, they think you always had a, a good life. Yeah, or, if you just got there. Yeah, you, you always like had things. You, they don't know the struggles that you go through when yeah. you, you still, you know, trying to make uh, uh, something out of yourself. Definitely. You know? Spe even with me, it happens when people look at you, they say, ah, mm. Dove, Dove, made Dove. It. No. People doesn't know that I slept on the floor, you know, sleeping on the floor. But 
that sleeping on the floor probably that that was one of the things that used to motivate me each and every morning that i had to, to wake up you know mm. i had to wake up i had to go for work they don't know that i use i i was once there's this funny story though. i use i make fun of it though but at that moment it was something that you know i felt like you mm. god what are you really doing like yeah, what's happening what's sometimes there's things that happen in your life and you don't understand i was going to training so I used to wake up like around five because I used to catch uh, like a taxi, you know, around six. So around six and I was training at nine. So where I was living uh, at my uh, cousin's place, mm -hmm. I used to like have uh, probably 45 minutes walk to the taxi rent, you know, get a taxi and I'll probably sit in a taxi for like two hours because of traffic in the morning. To get to training oh. but all those things when when i put it all together they are things that used to motivate me you know i lived with someone mm -hmm. that played a big role in my life which is my is my cousin that when i sit today and think you know there's most of the people they're, they're fortunate because yeah you wake up in the morning you have breakfast mm. you have lunch you have dinner at that time bro i didn't have none of those no sometimes you wake up in the morning go train bro when you get there to training people they don't want to know if you ate or not mm, in no the morning cares. you understand they want you there giving you 100 percent. you go back home they don't know if you're gonna eat or not you understand yeah. but still tomorrow you need to come back to the and same place and do your mm. best you know so it's 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 really like for me i'm grateful where i am now because mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. if i wouldn't like if i would have not been persistent you know working hard probably mm -hmm. i wouldn't be sitting here in this couch telling you guys those things yeah. that's the same thing that i tell people as yeah, well you know true. your dreams are bigger than any struggle or problem that you might face so you gotta go for it or either you you kill or die you go for it or just let it go you know it's up to you yeah the choice is all yours so so there is a young boy now who would love to follow in your footsteps what would you like to say to them uh i feel like i have opened even my instagram for for people that uh, usually message me mm. you know asking how did you get there how did you get here and stuff like that there's not really much you can tell people about that you know yeah. you have dreams you gotta follow your dreams you want your dreams to come true you gotta work hard you know work hard each and every day each and every day yeah because i feel like um some just want shortcuts um, there's no shortcuts in life shortcuts uh, in life there's no there's, there's no, no there's no shortcuts there is no shortcuts yeah. and they think it's that simple as you said now um, they see all the glitz now and the glam and the nice things, but yeah. they don't know like how you got there. Yeah. Actually, they think that you just woke up one day and you were there. Nothing comes from the sky, bro. You can pray and do whatever. Nothing will fall yeah. from the sky. Yeah, you gotta work for it. Work as hard yeah. as you can. If someone that plays in the same position as you is doing, is working double, work three eyes as him. Yeah, true. True. Easier than that. Football now, you know what? Football now, talent, talent itself doesn't play football anymore nowadays. Mm. If you don't like work hard and work, talent needs to be like with your hard work. You know, if Definitely. you're only talented, then you gotta have a short career. I've played with probably one of the most talented mm. players in my country when we're playing development side. He was yeah. very talented, but because he didn't respect like the talent that he was given. Yeah. He didn't appreciate it. He didn't work as hard as probably he, he thought that no, I'm a superstar. I'm I'm gonna make it anyhow. I'm gonna play now. Yeah, most there's nowhere to be found. Yeah, you know? I, I know a lot as well. Yeah, that happens. There's nowhere to be found. So you gotta work hard, work hard in everything you do. It doesn't have to be football. Every all anything. your dreams, mm. even you, your Lisa. Now you are probably here talking to me, but. I'm working hard. People doesn't know that you left from work and you're, you're coming here doing this. You're exhausted, but you still have to do it. Yeah, yeah that because you're passionate about something, so you gotta do it all. Yeah. You gotta just go home and sleep. Let There's it, no in between. It's either you do yeah. it or you just don't do yeah. it. You know, it's really, really that simple. So I think we're gonna end the video here. Thank you very much, sir.
for your time. The pleasure is And all um, this is not the last time that you're seeing him on the channel, is it? <laughs> is it the last time you're seeing it here? Yeah, oh, this is the first time. But it's the first time, but not last. I'm, I'm hoping that uh, we have more yeah, uh, we're gonna have opportunities more like this where we can talk about random stuff. Yeah, of life, definitely. You know? Yeah, we're gonna have. We're still gonna have so much fun on this channel. This is not your first or last time seeing him here. It's gonna if be you don't right invite now. me, I'll invite myself. <laughs> I love that. Please invite yourself, sir. <laughs> we're gonna and be invite really myself. Yeah, no, anytime. Be like, yo, bring that camera and bring that ring light. Let's do this. Yeah. Um. So thank you very much, man. So I'm sure a lot of people now have got an idea of what kind of person you are, like a clown. <laughs> the circus. The, in okay. life you gotta be happy. Yeah, you don't gotta be open happy. no negativity. Okay. Bad energy stay far away. You All the positive vibes, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. If they wanna follow you on social media on Instagram, you are Dove Ed Milson on Instagram. So feel free to to follow me, but no no like uh, sneaky message there. <laughs> Just following, you know, we'll talk. Positive vibes as you Yeah, say. if I can help someone mm. with my advices it will be you will be more than welcome or she will be more than welcome because yeah. i feel like there's a lot of of, of people as well that re they relate into your like life story not life only in like general. yeah mm. not only like football, football wise yeah, so definitely. you guys are more than welcome david milson hit me up follow Ah, but okay, I'm gonna follow everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Just say follow. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. You guys make sure that you follow me on Instagram. Yeah. And yeah. Yep. Get to know more about him on Instagram. Also, as well, do not forget to subscribe, like, and also comment. Nam Diafmane on Instagram. I am Yoli underscore Bad Two on Facebook. I am Yoli Swamba Two. Thank you very much for joining us, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye bye. Ciao ciao ciao. <laughs>